Hello everyone, welcome back to LSE Tutorials. This is Sheldon again. Today I'm going to talk about high level subclassing and also I will talk about enum, the enumeration of Swift. So I will Im implement something using these two like strategy applying on text fields. In this case, you guys can, can have a more clear um, view on how these two things can work together and make our code looks much much better okay so um, I have created one single view application and it's called my text field and in here we're gonna have a label card name Another one called password. Another one called phone number. Okay. And uh, Okay, so let's auto set up the auto layout. So for the name we use, we set up the left as well as the top, and then we set the width and height. Similar for password, we set the left and leading as well as width and height. And for the phone label, we set the, the top trailing width and height. And for the first text field, we set top leading and trailing and height. For next one, we set top lead tra trailing and height. And for the last one, we set the same top leading trading and height. So in this case, I um, guess this is too many. So let's make it 20. Twenty and So for now, we just drag three labels and put them here, and then we put three text fields after them. And if we run the application in iPhone 5, um, the width of the text field uh, will be much shorter because we didn't set the width. Instead, we set this distance as well as this distance. Okay, we can see the three labels are here and password are here. So if we click any one, it shows the keypad and uh, it's the default one. We didn't set anything. So we, if um, let's see, we because this one is password, we may set the secure entry, text secure entry, and this uh, name we might don't want to touch it or we might turn off the auto correction. Um, this is the phone, so we may use only use the keypad type as number. But uh, if you go directly, uh, drag this text field to your view controller and make them text UI text field and set all the like properties separately, it looks like very fresh. So if you make this kind of code, you are a fresh a programmer, and which is not looking that good. I mean, it works, but looks bad. And uh, today, um, I will show you a way to how to manage your code like more professional. So we're gonna create one class. Um, actually, 
we will subclass in the text field um, class. So if we go here, or UI text field, and let's call it my text field. Create, create, and now we will have this my text field class. So, um, so we want to, if we have a type, we can do something depending on the type. Um, so let's make this type thing in the enumeration. So enum, let's call it key type. Um, it let's assume it has a re, it will return some integer. So uh, we will make this way. So let's say case um, default case name case um, password and case uh, the last one is a uh, phone number so if we set the first one to be zero then the name is one and the password is uh, is equal to two and the phone is equal to three so now we have this in them and uh, uh, let's also make one variable called description. So in this case, we're gonna return the string value. So we can add one sentence called switch self. This means you have a, you will show your description depending on the uh, type you inputted here. So let's say for case default dot default we will return default for case dot name we will return name here for case dot password or phone we return phone number here for case password we return password so in this case each um, case in this anon will have a different description Okay, so we're gonna use this, and uh, later you will see. So um, I mean, we're gonna use this description. It uh, works kind of like um, the placeholder of our text field. So let's make them consistent. Consistent. So now we have our own class called text field my text field which is a um, child of our UI text field so we're going to impl implement our property here which is the type so it's like my text field dot type uh, will be one kind of the key type so uh, if you click the I mean the, the message here it will show it has no initializer means we need to set a default type for for the key type which is let's make it default okay and uh, we want to do something after we set the type so uh, let's use this um, setter method which is date set so in the date set uh, we're gonna do something um, okay so let's use the switch sentence so we're gonna use the self dot 
type dot raw value to judge uh, which condition we should jump in. So uh, because the raw value we have here is either zero or one or two or three. So we're gonna write the use, use cases like if it's case zero, we will um, make super dot text equal to um, default or nothing. Let's make it nothing and then break it. Um, the meaning of why do we use this super dot text instead of self dot text? So if we use self dot text, it will jump back to this set again, and then it goes to this case and says super uh, self dot text, and uh, it's like an infinity loop. It will uh, like die in this loop here. So we have to use this super dot text to set our text as a placeholder. So uh, now we have our case zero and then let's make our case one. Super dot text is equal to um, self dot type dot description um, let's say please or input plus our um, description here. This means if it's case one, which is name, you're gonna use, uh, you're gonna have the text in the text field as input name here, because we set the description as here. Okay, uh, actually we want this uh, same for case two and case three, because all the cases have different description, so it saves our work. And then for the, yeah, so that's for all the cases. Um, the thing is, even you made default here, it will never jump in to the default case. So generally you can simply delete it, but uh, it's fine to keep it here. Okay, so now uh, let's run our application. We will see some interesting facts that three um, three text field will show nothing. Okay, because uh, we didn't set, we didn't drag our text field there. So let's copy, uh, let's copy our uh, class name here and go to the storyboard and uh, set each class um, of this text field as my text field. Paste and enter. And then we go to our storyboard, uh, no, class file, and then we drag, we can drag our text field here. Name TF. Pass, password tf and phone tf okay as we can see the the type is of these three um, text fields are my text fields so um, let's now set the type so for name tf dot type we want it to be um, dot name and p w t i text field dot type we want it to be password and for the phone tf dot type we want it to be phone okay um, now we have these types set it uh, set up and we can run our application
Okay, so now we have the text as a placeholder. Uh, it's like input name here, input password here, and input phone number here, as we expected. So why we have the result here? Because in the in my text field we have this date set means after you set the type of your text field, if it will run these commands. So if your type is equal to default, it show empty. If it's one, it show uh, input name, and two show input number, phone number. No, two is showing um, input password here. Three is showing phone number. Here. Okay, so that's the reason. And uh, actually, what we want to do is something extra, right? If it's name, uh, we oh, in this case we need to separate all the cases. So. Let's delete here. Case one, case two, case three. Break, break, and break. Okay. So for the first one, it's like self dot key for type is equal to dot um, let's make a default or email address and for the uh, for the password we want to keep the same tag um, just a keyboard type as uh, default but we want to um, make the secure text entry equal to true um, if we have uh, the third case here no the case three here which is the fourth case we want to set self dot keyboard type is equal to dot um, decimal decimal or number yes yeah, number because we don't have, we will not have dot. Okay, so now if we run the application, we can see. Uh, our placeholder is uh, masked as well, but doesn't matter. I just want to show you guys um, how this is work here. So the first one, if you hit it. Uh, it will show a normal or no it shows the email keypad as you can see it has it has an at here uh, for the second one it shows a normal one it has no at for the third one it shows a keypad so I hope this um, can help you because oh because this is a better way to make you have a clearer code um, like like I said, you, you have your self-defined enum here, and this can be accessed um, in all of your classes if you make it public. So uh, it's easier to manage your, um, um, like in this case, it's text fields. So uh, this subclassing method also applies to all the uh, classes like if you make your own subclass of uh, UI image, um, something like that. So uh, I think this is it. Hope you enjoy this video, and uh, please leave comments, like or dislike, um, to make make our work better. Um, thanks for watching. Hope uh, to see you soon. Bye.